up, HL fam? It is discharge day. Oh my gosh, we are taking our baby girl home today. This is insane. Yeah, this is lit. Goodbye, NICU. It was nice. It was fun. They love us here. We was here they every did. day. They did. They just came in because they saw us coming in here and they was like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, uh, I cannot wait. Here. We are about to, she already fed just now. It's about three o'clock. She just fed at like two. So that's perfect. She don't have to eat again until five. So we can get her home nice and quiet. She'll be asleep. I cannot believe this. It's so much. This is, this is well. They actually called us earlier and said that she can come home today, which is crazy. They always said that like being in a NICU, things are always just like so touch and go that they're not going to give you like a week notice or it's really just like a day's Day notice, notice hours notice as you can see and so they were like are you guys ready and we're like of course we're ready and oh, we get to take her home so excited it's lit it's lit, it's lit. we got her stroller slash car seat in here baby girl is over there still asleep i picked up and kissed her but i didn't want to wake her up and baby do you want to we bought a change of clothes so Yesterday we went to Carter's and um, just went preemie sh clothing shopping just because we needed some clothes and we knew, you know, she would probably be coming home soon. So we got this little outfit. Where is it? It says Mommy's Little Peanut. And it's so funny because in the NICU they always call babies like peanuts. So when we saw this, it was like perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we should, what do you think? If we should change our clothes. While she sleep? Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh so we're gonna put this on her. i think she needs to be in a sleeper as well so then we're gonna put this little white and gray sleeper on top and then we don't have a hat to match so i'm gonna put this random pink hat on her um but yeah we got her blanket we also got a cooler to bring home the milk that they've been storing here um for us and yeah we are all set ready to go break my baby out of here you're excited, we're excited. Oh, baby, I'm sure. Did mommy and daddy wake you up? You want these extras? I know I gave you a few yesterday, but you want yes, some more? Yes, absolutely. Never had two. You guys your car out here? Yes, it's right here. Perfect. We used our discharge figure from when she got this Okay, because we never used it. Okay. A discharge summary will go from our docs to your pediatrician as well, so they'll have oh, a they whole. They requested that. Good. Yep, they'll have a whole list of that. Good. Um, here is your feeding instructions mm -hmm. to breastfeed on demand mm -hmm. and or every two to four hours. Okay. So that's what I was saying. She might want to eat every two. At her age, don't go to the four hour yet. Do every two to three. Okay. Do you have an app or any way to track oh. when she feeds, how off, like how long she's feeding? No. For like breastfeeding or bottle feeding in general gotcha yeah i can download one i was gonna say i would recommend it because your days are going to turn into your nights and your nights into your days and you're not mm -hmm. going to know if you're coming or going or when i changed that diaper when did she poop last i have no idea that's funny we were just talking about that specifically. Early today. and especially when she's little that when you go to the pediatrician they're going to ask you all those questions how often is she eating how much is she eating when did she last pee and poop how often is she peeing how often is she pooping mm -hmm. Like those kinds of things, and it's like, even as a NICU nurse and I have my own babies, I was like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Is there a recommended app? There's all kinds of different yeah. ones. The one I use for my kids, I loved, but I don't think it's available anymore. It's called Total Baby. Okay. You can yeah, look that search, title up and see. Yeah. Search the Some way. of the apps have, like, you can track the feedings, but then you can also track sleep in there you can keep track of like when you last gave a bath or when her pediatrician appointments were and what vaccinations she got so that kind of stuff's kind of cool to look back on also
Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. We have a <laughs> with us. He wanted the last time to ring the bell. Bye bye, Nikki. What's up, HL fam? So, if you are watching this video, then you already know what's going down. I have, uh, I don't know, I have a feeling that I might be pregnant. Last night, I could not sleep. Now we have to wait three minutes and I'll see what it says. Oh! back with her. Good job. Thank you. Good job. You're going out in the world all by yourself. <laughs> Thank you. So we got our baby girl back here and it is just so surreal with her like being in the back seat with Henry oh, up there driving. It's like, you know, like the car seat was in here and it's just been empty. And now with her being in here, it just it just feels just so amazing. We are just so ecstatic and so blessed and just thankful that we can bring our baby home, our baby girl home. But yeah, she's actually starting to wake up like literally right on schedule. We're like three minutes away from her feeding schedule and we're probably about five minutes away from the house if that. So as soon as we get home, we have to change and feed her. And I just can't wait to do that for the first time in our house. Baby, is it a different environment for you? You looking around, seeing where we going? Huh? That's my baby. That's my baby. Just pulling up home. Oh, you're excited? You smiling? Oh, she is over it. Welcome home, boo boo. It's not ideal. We got a lot of boxes everywhere, but it is your new home, baby. Oh, boo boo. She is already, oh my gosh. Get my baby out of the dish. You excited, babe? Yeah. Our baby is finally home. Come on, come on. Come on. Let me get her stuff. Take me in your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. When I need some loving, baby. And I'll never let you down. Let you down, let you down. Alright guys, so a quick little update. We got home a few hours ago and um, uh, what did we do? We fed Naya, changed her, 
tried to put her down for her nap and I think she was just really like intrigued by our place. When I was feeding her, breastfeeding her, she was looking around the entire time. And then when Henry had her, um, he was holding her while we were like watching TV. And you could tell she was like completely weirded out by the sound of the TV. And she just kept looking around at like just everything, the walls, all the boxes. She was just staring and looking at everything. So I think it was a little hard for her to fall asleep. We had um, a difficult time trying to get her to sleep, even like holding her at first. Henry had a difficult time with like getting her to sleep. Um, I think she was just like trying to stay up and be nosy. So the only way we got her to go to sleep was by um, me holding her. And then I had to like prep dinner because I've been meaning to make some turkey wings. I really wanted these turkey wings and I could have made like something simpler, um, but I just decided to make it. So I had to make these turkey wings y'all with her right here in my dad's little arm. Here they go. <sighs> And so I got her in my right arm, which is my dominant hand, and I had to dag on prep these turkey wings with my left hand. But it, I knew it wasn't gonna be that bad because you know you just have to season them. I could do, I could use one hand for that, so it wasn't that bad. But it's so funny that I've been telling Henry like, if we don't learn one thing from parenting, we're absolutely gonna learn how to multitask. If that's like the only thing we learn, we will be pros at multitasking. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. She really, um, she ate well. She didn't have a problem with eating or anything like that. Um, I'm about to put these turkey wings in for dinner. And then we'll probably catch up with you guys a little bit later. Send help. <laughs> I play too much, y'all. Somebody tell me. So I told y'all, Naya's on a three hour feeding schedule. Somebody please tell me why these apples roll around so quick. <laughs> I feel like we just fed and changed her at eight o'clock, man. I don't got time to do nothing. I haven't pumped since like one o'clock. I haven't pumped since like one o'clock. We just struggled to like eat dinner. <sighs> oh my gosh. And she, part of the problem is she's not falling asleep on her own. I think she really is just like getting used to her surroundings. And um, it's just, you know, not what she's used to. So it's a little bit different. So like just now for this eight o'clock feeding, I had to hold her again <laughs> because, um, we put her down and she keeps waking up like I looked over and her eyes were wide open so I really I just put her on me on my chest and like let her fall asleep into a deep sleep and then I laid it down we got a layer laying right here next to us it's about to be 11 p.m. which is her next feeding after this one I think we're going to take it down because our next feeding after that is 2 a.m. We haven't decided yet who's taking it 2 a.m. feeding. <laughs> I'm so dead, y'all. But, I mean, this is just bliss. Like, I couldn't have it any other way. We just have been dying for her to be home. And I'm just excited that she's home. Even if it is tough, I don't care. <laughs> 